Okay, um, good afternoon, everyone. I uh, wanted to just give a couple of updates uh, that we have, and then we'll have uh, some more detailed updates about the investigation. We have received several media inquiries to attend our National Night Out event. Uh, to make it easier for you to join us, we have arranged for an RTA bus to transport interested media to the multiple neighborhood sites in tonight's program. The bus will be at the convention center at 415 and depart around 430. I ask if you're going to National Night Out to use this because I don't want um, our neighborhoods to have a ton of cars moving in and out. We're trying to just be as succinct as possible. I'll be on National Night Out. Do you feel, are you going? Yeah, so we're all, yeah, we're all going. Um, and we'll be, at, we'll be on a bus as well. So uh, that's, uh, that's our offer to you. All right, um, next I'm gonna, turn it over to Chief Bill to provide an update date on the investigation. Thank you, Mayor. I'm joined this afternoon with uh, Todd Wickerham, the special agent in charge for the Cincinnati FBI office. We'll provide a brief but important update on the progress investigation of the mass shooting that occurred in the city of Dayton on August 4th. While we do not have true clarity of motive of the assailant, Based upon evidence obtained, we do have a more developed picture of the evolving mindset of the assailant. The materials reviewed thus far reveal that the individual had a history of obsession with violent ideations to include mass shootings and had expressed a desire to commit a mass shooting. Subsequent material has revealed an orientation toward violent ideologies which elevate this case to one of federal interest. Thus, the FBI will be taking the central role in certain aspects of this case, while the Dayton Police Department continues to focus on the homicide investigation. So I now ask Agent Wickerham to provide more information about this shift in investigative focus. However, I will clarify that the information provided will be very limited and not likely to be expand, expanded upon uh, what is already being shared. Agent. So uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, thank you, Chief. My name is Todd Wickerham. I'm the special agent in charge for the FBI's Cincinnati field office. So the Dayton police and the FBI have a long history of working together side by side in this community including very, very Im important Joint Terrorism Task Force assignments that Dayton police officers have, as well as our Safe Streets Task Force. So working together is nothing new for us. An FBI agent showed up in the early morning hours in the Oregon District after this horrific mass attack. So our investigation with Dayton police is ongoing. We have not made any final investigative conclusions into the motive of the shooter or if he was assisted by any other people in this attack. However, we have uncovered evidence throughout the course of our investigation that the shooter was exploring violent ideologies. And based upon this evidence, we're initiating an FBI investigation side by side with the Dayton Police Homicide Investigation to make sure we get to the bottom and we explore everything and we try to understand the best we can why uh, this horrific attack happened. So as we continue to conduct this investigation, we are striving to do three things what to figure out three things what if any ideology influenced the attacker to conduct this attack who if anyone helped him or had any advanced knowledge of his intentions to conduct this attack and why he committed this specific act of violence one piece of evidence does not necessarily constitute a motive hence the need for a thorough methodical investigation the case is ongoing so we cannot provide any detailed information into our investigative activities at this time. It's absolutely critical that we do this investigation the right way. This community and our country deserves an answer as to why this happened. So we ask anybody with additional information regarding this investigation to provide that information to the FBI tip line. It's a tip line that's available 24-7 for somebody to give information. That tip line is 1-800-CALL-FBI. If you call there, and asked to give information about the Dayton, Dayton shooting, uh, somebody will take that information and provide it both to the Dayton Police Department and to the FBI. There's another outlet in which people can provide any type of digital evidence that they may have collected, whether on that night or any social media 
evidence that they may feel is relevant to why this attack happened. And that can be provided at www.fbi.gov, G-O-V, backslash Dayton shooting. And I also want to thank all the organizations in this community that have stepped up to help the grieving process and the healing process begin here in Dayton. I'll take a couple questions. So I'm not going to get into specifics as what we found because we're so early in this investigation. There is so much more material to go through and evidence to obtain in this investigation. But uh, we have found very specific violent ideologies that the shooter um, we know followed and was interested in. So that has uh, given us enough information to open up an FBI investigation to make sure we have every single tool, every investigative capability to figure out why this happened and to try to make sure it doesn't happen again. So uh, anybody that uh, wants to, uh, to do violence, that is part of uh, what has to be shown to investigate a federal investigation of this type. And so, yeah, so we have found very specific. One thing I'll point out, that we have not found any indication that it's a racial motivation. That is not uh, the, any, we have not found that anything that indicates that it's a racial motivation at this time. I'm not, you know, again, we have a lot to go through, so, um, but, uh, Different violent ideologies um, uh, will cause an uh, investigation to be initiated, and we have found evidence of a violent ideology. Did but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going into the, get into the specifics. Did you discover this off his computer? Um, we did not discover it off his computer. We're still going through lots of digital evidence, but I'm not going to tell you exactly where we found this because we still have a lot more to go through. Agent, agent, did he specifically target his sister? Uh, we don't. We do not have that information at this time. We don't know. So what we what we saw in this is uh, this individual, the shooter, uh, the attacker in this case, um, very specifically seeking out um, information that uh, promotes violence. How far back in his past are you going? Reports of a hit list in high school. Are you reporting that? Kind of we are going back uh, as far as we need to to find uh, try to find out why he did this, and also if anybody else knew about this or was involved with this. Was the shooter, was the shooter, was the planning this event, or that he was? planning to do a different type of event, or, or how premeditated was this event? Uh, we, we don't know it at this time. Did the event... Did you have the, any knowledge the, of him having any, any uh, mental illnesses? Uh, um, I, I don't have that information uh, at this time. I'm not going to get any more specifics about what we do or what we do not know. Did the events in El Paso affect the timeline of this at all? Uh, we have not seen any evidence that uh, the events in El Paso influenced him at this point. Again, we have lots of evidence to go through. No, we have no evidence that the, F the shooter was on the FBI's radar prior to this event. That's it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Special Agent. Uh, next, I'm going to invite uh, Assistant Chief Matt Carper to the podium to discuss the President of the United States' this visit tomorrow. <coughs> Thank you, Mayor. I know there's been a, a lot of interest in, um, in a potential visit from uh, the, the President into the Miami Valley area tomorrow. Uh, we don't have the specifics yet. As soon as we can get uh, more um, additional information as it unfolds, we'll release what we're able to release to the public. Uh, I know any closures uh, or inconveniences, interruptions would be minimal, so we do understand that. So we'll uh, share more information as it becomes available and as we're able to. That's all I'm able to offer right now. Will the families be meeting with the president privately? I'm sorry? Will the families of the victims be meeting with the president privately? I'll be able to uh, give you more information as, uh, as the details are confirmed. What about protests? Tomorrow? Thank you. Any word of any protest plans? I, I'm not aware of any, uh, any organized protests tomorrow. Can you talk about manpower? Uh, is there going to be extra police on the scene at, at the routes? What's that going to look like? With, uh, with any uh, presidential visit or motorcade, um, going back uh, decades, uh, that is the case. Sir, at the White House today, Kellyanne Conway suggested that the Secret Service had communicated to the President that both Dayton and El Paso are safe and ready for the President's visit. Would you agree with that characterization, that assessment? Is Dayton ready 
at this moment? We are always ready for uh, any kind of dignitary protection assignment. Uh, like I said, going back decades, we've provided those, and, uh, and sometimes multiple occasions per year. So, yes. Given the circumstance that happened here? That is correct. We are ready. Can I ask Thank one you. more question of the agent? Just, just one more. You said that he wasn't influenced by events in El Paso, correct? I didn't say that. No, I said we don't have not developed any evidence at this point that says that he's influenced by El Paso. Have any evidence developed that he was influenced by other events? We've had several recently. Um, we still have a lot of evidence to go through, so uh, I'm not going to say anything else about that. As far as the sugar kiss from like this Hitler thing that you're in about, is that something you started to look into whether you've been really disciplined at any point, whether that was the juvenile courts at all, anything like that? I think we've discussed everything we're going to discuss about the investigation. Uh, so are there any other questions? I wonder about the chief's uh, homicide investigation. Yeah. As you continue to look into that gun and the ammunition, have you found any evidence that there was any violation of current gun laws by the shooter? No, we have not. Could you speak to the podium? Tonight? Yeah, Sorry, they want no. to get that on. They're It'll be digital. pretty easy. No, we have not. So. <laughs> any new information leading up to why they may split up? I don't know that that's clear. I mean, we just, we don't have any specific information to really understand that at this time. We just know what happened. Um, what is your take on, on the governor's proposal uh, that he laid out today, 17 point plan to You know, actually, I've been a little too busy to read the governor's proposal. So until I have a chance to, to read it and evaluate it, uh, I really can't comment. Sarah, can you reiterate what you said the morning about the visit tomorrow from the president coming in and what people should do? We, well, you were you were all there, so I um, I, I don't need to I don't want to uh, keep on going, but you know I don't know what you're really asking, frankly, actually. Oh yeah, as yeah, I will welcome him in the official capacity as mayor, since he is in the office of the president. Chief, the search warrant of the house. Um, mm -hmm. Did they find any other guns, or what kind of evidence did they find? We're them? we're not going to get any of the evidence that was seized in that search warrant. I mean, that's all part of the investigation, and we haven't a chance to even evaluate some of it yet at this point. So, any update on the person who was driving in the car with them? Uh, so we're done talking about the investigation. So I think we're done with questions today. We appreciate, and um, I'll see some of you at National Night Out. Thank you.